Thank y'all for tuning in on Facebook and YouTube. This is Mike Barclay, Faith in Jesus Ministries, the preacher man, your best friend. We love coming to your homes on Facebook and YouTube and blessing you and making you a blessing. I'm going to be preaching today from the book of John. The book of John, chapter 16, verse 33. says, I have told you these things so that in me, in me, you may have perfect peace and confidence. Can you join me in reading, please? I want you to read it like soldiers of Christ. So that in me you may have perfect peace. Trials and frustration may be among you, but be of good cheer. Take courage. Be confident. Certain. Undaunted. I have overcome the world. Deprived it of power to harm you. You have power in Jesus' mighty name. Overcome all things. Jesus makes it very clear. He said, I told you all these things. So that in me... Because he lives, I am confident that I'm going to heaven. I can face tomorrow. Because he lives, I'm confident I'm coming out. Crisis moment, you're just a passing through right now. Because he lives, you can swim through a river of feces and come out white as snow, smelling like roses. Because he lives, I can face tomorrow. Because he lives, all fear is gone. Because I know he owns my future. My life is worth living just because he lives. Sorry, the Holy Spirit got a hold of me right there. Well, Brother Mike, that really brings me home. From John 16:33, move to Mark chapter 4, verse 35. On that same day, when the evening had come, he said to them, Let's "Go to the other side." Finished preaching to the five thousand and fed them, and they were following him. And he was trying to get away, so he said, "Hey, let's go to the other side now." So they got in the boat and they went to the other side of the lake. And there were other boats on the sea at that time. Furious storm of hurricane wind proportion arose. Waves kept beating into the boat, maybe five, six feet tall. It was already becoming filled. Jesus was in the stern of the boat, sleeping. I woke him and said, Master, 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 do you not care that we are perishing? He arose and rebuked the storm. He said to the sea, Hush, be still. The wind ceased. Jesus said, Peace, be still. And the water ceased. As if the storm suddenly became exhausted. The beating of Jesus Christ. The angels in heaven all obey Jesus Christ. He said, Peace be still. A thousand angels came and surrounded that storm. Immediately there was a great calm. Perfect peacefulness ruled and reigned. Heavenly Father, we ask you to speak to our hearts from the scripture. Let life be transformed by Brother Mike. Visions be perfect. Let hope be restored. Men out of the fiery furnace they're in. Take our souls into a new place called heaven. New season, a new realm of blessing. He said, I will open the windows of heaven and pour you out a blessing. You have no room to receive. New dimension, manifestation of glory in the name of Jesus. Lord, give them understanding on Facebook and YouTube of where we are and what we're saying. How we are going through what we're going through. The Bible says the same day that it was evening. Genesis chapter 1 verse 4 says he created the light. Separate the night from the day. Night. Weeping continued. Darkness and confusion. Trouble and trial. He created the night. He also created the day. The sun shines. The brightness of the glory of God. Brother Mike wants to give you the kind of joy and peace you never experienced before. God wants to tell me to tell you that there's something you're going to do in your life in the name of Jesus. You know, bless someone else. Hey, uh, chapter 43 verse 19 it says I'm doing something brand new. It's the likes of which you've never seen before. It's fresh. It's new. Something unheard of in your life. He delivered to you now. Same day. Even now. Right now. As soon as you pray for it. God is working out his glory in your life. In the name of Jesus Christ. is asking you to believe in things you cannot see. You cannot see the wind. Not see a proton. Understand and see with the eye of the spirit. See music. God is about to do a new thing in your life. He's transitioning you and brother Mike to something we've never heard of before. A brand new thing. Jesus said, let us go to the other side of the lake. Paul says they took him with him. Them. Jesus is the one that straightens the root from the beginning. He says, I am the vine and you are the fruit. No man comes to the Father but through me. I am the light of the world. I'm not into the world to judge it. I come into it so you can have life and have it everlasting. I'm the propitiation of your sins. I paid the price. I went to hell and back and have the keys to hell, death, and the grave. 
Oh, death, where is your sting? All-knowing God knew the storm was going to take place. God needed them to pass through the storm in the midst of the storm. God was raising men to withstand the pressure of glory. He needed them to pass through a storm so they could carry the weight of glory. Test them. God loves to put you through tests. You can come out on the other side pure as gold. God wants to prepare you for the other side of glory in, in his name. There's a verse in Philippians chapter 4 verse 6. It says, do not be pulled in different directions. Be worried about a thing. That means don't worry about your light bill. Don't worry about your phone bill. Don't worry about your rent. Don't worry about your car note. That's a thing. Saturated in prayer throughout each day. Turn your faith-filled request to God with overflowing gratuity. Praise and worship, that means. Tell Him every detail of your life. Every need you have. Every dream you have. You pulled in different directions to work, to kids, to having to make a living, to having to drive through that damn traffic in Houston confuse your worry saturated with thoughts and questions you don't have answers for says replace it with prayer with faith and understanding Let your day be filled and saturated with the Lord Jesus Christ Talk to him about every minutest detail of your life Talk to him like you're talking to your father or your best friend or your best girlfriend God go with you this week to your job to your parties to your weddings to your funerals may God be with you God spend the month with you hour every minute every second of the day it says even though they took him along a storm arose it says a windstorm of hurricane proportion and COVID hits and all the businesses in the stock market go south and they lock us up for two years. Can't go to work. A little $1,200 check to last you for two years. COVID was a windstorm of hurricane proportion. I believe COVID was our storm. Our perfect hurricane. And we survived it and came out stronger in Jesus. Now, church, it's good to sing praises on Sunday morning. Everything is perfect. We sing the same song when you got COVID. Important we start our journey with Christ. What's caught you in the middle of this COVID storm? Heaven expects you to be your best service to God. Praise is sweeter in the place of pain. The Bible says they bring their shoes full of tears, tears running down their faces, yet you're still bringing your worship. God says he'll turn all your tears into diamonds in heaven. The disciples cried out to him saying, Master, Master, do not care that we perish. Jesus be silent when we're going through so much in life perfect question at the perfect time Lord true test of a real friend is when the storm hit how do you react when the storm hit love is real when it's tested real love is revealed when your marriage is tested disciples were asking a legitimate question what matter of friend are you that in our moment of pain you are silent you go to sleep on me we ask ourselves the same question I abandon God I don't understand what he's doing Times are bad. They immediately shouted and Jesus arose. All you gotta do is shout at him. Give him the praise and worship and he'll come and make a home in your heart. Be closer than a brother. He arose as he had been waiting. As if he knew all along what was going on. Oh, as he knew because he is God. All knowing God. He rose to say he's enough is enough with this damn COVID. I get rid of COVID in Jesus name. I say peace be still COVID. And it's gone in Jesus' name. The season of pain is coming to an end. God said in Genesis 8, 1 through 5, God remembered Noah. And he rebuked the wind. God will remember you on Facebook and YouTube today in the name of Jesus Christ. Jesus arose and rebuked the wind and said, peace be still. That's what I say to COVID, peace be still. He rebuked the wind and spoke to the sea. Behind every sea is a wind. Behind every storm is a wind. Behind COVID-19, there is a wind. Said the trouble will come from the east. Negative wind from the east. COVID-19. Tannic strange wind. It said, behold, I give to you power. Tread on serpent and scorpion. All the power of the enemy. Nothing by any means shall harm you. I give to you the power to rebuke the wind and the storms and to rebuke COVID-19. In the name of Jesus, power. Power of the blood. Praying in the name. For over Satan. Praying in the name. It says nothing by any means will harm you. Talk to water, but you can't talk to wind. You can't see wind. You can't see wind. You feel and touch it. It comes from the invisible. You can attack an invisible force with the invisible higher power. Neutralize the sea. time the wind is rebuked, you can speak to the sea. The Bible says, now you understand that I have imparted to you all my authority to 
daughter, my son, crumple over the enemy's kingdom. Absolutely nothing will be able to harm you. That means cancer. That means diabetes. That means kidney. I see livers being healed. I see legs straightening out. Hands straightening out. People waking up from the dead. Dead ass comas and they waking up. 27 years later, praising God, His authority. You walk in His authority. Straight and exercise this authority you have. Jesus said to them, why are you so fearful? That's what Brother Mike says to you on Facebook and YouTube. Why are you so fearful? God's got this in His hand. Goodness and mercy in His hand. He said, peace be still to the water. And the water had to follow His command. He is God. Alpha and Omega, the beginning to the end. He had rebuked the wash. The Bible says the wind reduced as it was if it was beaten down. It beats the wind, but God the Bible speaks of an incredible force. You will hear wars about wars and rumors of wars in the last day. The time the wind was arrested and beaten to a pulp. The power of the sea is in the wind. The power of COVID-19 is in the wind. It was unfair. Just looked at them and said, Friends, why are you so afraid and timid? You that have no faith. Because, oh, ye of little faith. You just have the faith of a mustard seed. You can move mountains into the ocean. In the middle of your storm, God wants you to pray in, into the night. When it's 12 o'clock midnight, he wants you to pray to him. Challenge the wind behind COVID. Praise God and bring home the power and glory of God. Earthquake will happen and break your chains and set you free. And who is freed by the Lord is free indeed. He says, I am the way, I am the truth, I am the life. No man gets to the Father but through me. He knelt and bowed before Jesus. And what must I do to be saved? You on Facebook and YouTube are asking Brother Mike, what must I do to be saved, preacher man? I'm meant for signs and wonders. You will be known by your fruits. Putting us through a furnace of fire. Come out not even smelling like the smoke of fire. Come out and the king of Babylon will bow to your God. The boss will know that you have a God and you serve a living God. Go on your knees and you rebuke the wind. Arrest the power behind your spirit. He said, why are you so fearful? He says that to you today. Why are you so fearful? And to be confident. Something in you, in Brother Mike, is projected confidence on the outside. He says it's because you're faithless. Don't shout me down when I'm preaching good. Hebrews chapter 4 verse 3 as I close. The Bible says for those of us that believe. Believers. We are the believers. We at Faith in Jesus Ministry believe in the Bible. Everywhere. We know that Faith in Jesus Ministry is that faith activates the promise. Peace of undescribable peace. Experience rest in Jesus. Experience the realm of confident rest. Activate your faith in Christ Jesus. Because of the storm brought fear. Fear is the opposite of faith. Faith you can't activate the promise of peace in the midst of your storm. God is the God of all seasons. Not just the God of the mountain. But also the God of the valley. To sure that God is in charge. Activate your faith and it'll produce peace. It's like riding in a Rolls Royce. You know there are cars and there are cars. Rolls Royce is another dimension of cars. Leaves and Bugattis are another dimension of car. A Rolls Royce is like a rolling mortgage. A Rolls Royce just glides through. It doesn't matter how rough the road is. If you're riding in an old Humpty that the shocks are gone. You feel every bump in the road. The car got 500,000 miles on it. He doesn't want you to have a good car. When I started off preaching, I had to push my car half a mile to get gas because it only got five miles to a gallon. So every bump in that car, like being in Christ and being in the world, the difference of an old hoopty or a Rolls Royce. That's why Jesus said, in me you would have perfect peace, undescribable peace. Brother Mike is in the Rolls Royce of life. And I pull up and open the door and invite you in to take a ride in my rolls. Has been provided by Christ. Through the storm, yes, you'll go through the fire. Yet you don't feel it. You keep smiling, waving at the people. Because you don't even know. You sleep at night. You don't even know the battles that go on in heaven. Heaven fights over Brother Mike's life every day. You know, my time is up. Election is coming up. The early election 2024 is coming up. Don't spend your vote on these demons baby killers killed 60 million babies abortion mills don't vote for no Kamala Harris so Joe Biden don't waste your vote on that you'll be paying ten dollars a gallon for gas and the stock market will go down and will bottom out you think Black Monday or Black Friday huh that was a drop in the bucket All the banks fail cancel your food stamps and your Social Security to pay for the war it's coming folks it's real it's here 
The mark of the beast is here. They done figured it out. The world seeks for peace and there could not be peace. Wars and rumors of war. To inject the prince of peace. The nation has spent billions and billions of dollars trying to find peace. The second world war. On the Iraqi war. Vietnam war. Name it. All kinds of war. Ghani war. War in Baghdad. Country as we prepare to vote. Vote them demons out. Them baby killers out. To speak of peace. I vote. Brother Mike votes. Is I, I vote for the lesser of two evils. It's the underbelly of America that's got a racial war that's going on. It's not a white thing, a black thing, it's a red thing. It's about voting for the blood of Jesus. Mike's tired of all these school shootings and then buying AR-15s and shooting 23, 24 kids and teachers. Ford's tired of all these school shootings and bank shootings and racial shootings and grocery stores. The Lord is tired of it. Changes his mind, saith the Lord. Notice how they always have extra rounds of ammunition in their pocket. He's planning on killing more people. A special place in hell for those school shooters, let me tell you. Hell has no room for you. It has enlarged itself. There is always room for you in hell. People are preparing for war in the Ukraine, and we're paying for it, but with our Social Security money and our food stamps. They don't have no money, but they've given like $100 billion dollars to that war, giving millions and millions and billions of dollars to that Ukrainian war against Russia. It's like we're fighting Russia. People's spirit's trying to find its way into the mainstream. We should stand on God's position on human life. Let there be life and let him have it more abundantly. It's not an accident we're all different. It's by divine, eternal design. It said in John 14, 6, I am the way, I am the truth, I am the life. It says, let Christ be true, let all men be liars. It says, all men are created equal in his image. That's the scripture that Biden tried to quote. The devil can't even quote the Bible. We Biden is a liar from the pit of hell. Kamala Harris is a liar from the pit of hell. Not less than God made me to be. They're all equal in God's eyes. Black, white, brown, yellow, red. Animals are equal, but some animals are more equal than others. Isn't it funny how in America that an elite few control the stock market? They control the banks. They control your food, your social security. They control everything. The elite reptilians control everything. Demon dragon controls your income, tax, or law. Righteousness and justice are the foundation of your throne. They're the pillars, righteousness and justice, not on one leg, but on two legs. Justice for all is equally important. Life, a black lives matter, a white lives matter, it's all lives matter. Brothers Mike, life is as important as any other person. God that you and I serve is a God of righteousness and peace, grace, and justice, the God of love. No longer shall you be deceived. So vote with your voice. Vote with your heart. If you'd like to know this Jesus Christ as your Lord and Savior, just say this simple prayer with me. Jesus, come into my heart. I repent of my sins. I make you my Lord and Savior. If you said that simple prayer with us, we like to believe you got saved. Get into a good Bible preaching church. Put God first place in your life. He'll take you places you never imagined. Stay tuned for the blessing. May the Lord bless you and show you his kindness, his mercy, his love, and his grace. May he open the windows of heaven and pour blessings upon your life you have no room to receive. In Jesus' name, thank you. Be sure to share and like our videos. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Amen. Hallelujah.